Welcome to Endoscopy on Air 2020. In this section, we show you two parallel cases of colorectal ESD done by Roberta Maselli from Milano. The first case is a 60-year-old male with a 2 cm sigmoid adenoma. Now I want to show you something really special. So I have the two new devices. One is the GI scope. It seems a normal standard cone scope from 700 series Fuji, but it's not because at the end there's a balloon. You can't see because it is outside from the scope, so you can't see anything from the normal screen. But it's a, an integrated balloon that is at the bending section of the scope that is designed to increase the adenoma detection rate. Because what happened? That I have a pedal, and if I switch the pedal, I can see the blue that is blinking. It means that the balloon is inflating, and while coming back, it helps me in flattening the folds of the scope and to check behind the folds to see and rule out any hidden polyps integrated with the artificial intelligence from Fuji, that is the CADI. And it's very simple because I just push the bottom and you can see this circle that is gray now because uh, it's highlighting this lesion. Check what it is. But it's not finished because this is the detection and the Fuji film uh, artificial intelligence has also the characterization. So as soon as I shift to BLI mode, I want to focus this lesion, I can see that it's say neoplastic. What does it mean? This characterization has two groups, the hyperplastic group and the neoplastic group. What is not hyperplastic is neoplastic. So it means that in the plastic group, you have also the adenoma and the hyperplastic group, you have also this irradiated lesion. So if I have the uh, yellow circle when it's neoplastic and I will have the green circle when it's hyperplastic. But also on the right side, you can see here that I have a thermal map. The thermal map tells me where the polyp is um, accordingly to my screen. So if I move on the left, the thermal map says that the lesion is on the left. If I put the lesion in the center, the thermal map will say that it's in the center. And again, the thermal map is yellow as the circle because accordingly to this uh, detection and characterization, this is an aplastic lesion. I'm going to remove this polyp. Um, uh I get that this uh, lifting is, is very important for delineating the margin of the lesion. They are not still so clear to reduce the risk of adverse event uh, and to assure an end block uh, or uh, anyway, uh, oligopismal uh, yeah. uh, resection. Uh, what, what... Why? Why? For the submucosal injection, I'm not using normal saline, but I'm using the Orise gel. Okay, so you know, because this time, this lesion seems very simple, but on the behind side here, there's a part of the lesion, and I want to be sure to remove all of the lesion. Honestly, I don't think that this lesion needs to be removed or completely and block. I don't know if you agree, but I try to remove as much as I can the lesion and block. So the particular of this uh, uh, snare I will show you is that when I ask my assistant to open it, if she open a little bit, I will have only the tip of the snare, only the tip of the snare that is the knife in this way. Can you see it's very sharp? So I can use it as a knife, okay? So it means that with my yellow pedal, I can use it to do a sort of ESD. But then when I'm ready to my circumference, I will open, not now, uh, I will open completely. And uh, can you see the submucosa layer? Yeah. How nice it is, it's blue because the rice is already blue in the syringe, so you don't need to add any staining. And uh, it's there. And with the same tip, you can also make uh, coagulation if needed, as in this case. Here you see the histology and the patient's clinical course. On the next slide, you see the instrument and the device used in this case. And finally, here is Roberta Maselli's recommended reading.